Hi, my name is Clinton. Welcome back to my channel Code with Clinton. So in this video, I'm going to list out eight concepts you need to learn and understand better in Django so you can land a Django job in 2022. So without further ado, we are getting started right now. Right now, I'm going to list out these eight concepts you need to learn and understand so you can land a Django developer job in 2022. So the first concept is database design understand so the structure of your data is really really important because every web application depends on the database design understand so if your data if your, if your database is being designed poorly the web application you are building is going to is, is going to perform badly understand i know in django in the models of PyFi, that's where we design our database understand remember we use relationships like one-to-one many-to-many the foreign key to connect tables together understand so you need to understand these three relationships very very well you need to know when to use them you need to understand them better so you can use them effectively and remember this remember that your app is dependent on your database design so if you design if, if you design a poor database structure your app is gonna perform very it's gonna it's gonna perform badly understand so why what, what i emphasize is that you need to learn those three terms the one to one the foreign key and the money to money you need to learn when to use them you understand so it's not about knowing what the eyes is it's, it's also about knowing when to use these database relationships and stuff so that's it for database design so our number two is authentication and authorization you understand See, maybe what so I'm gonna I'm gonna simply differentiate these two words, these two terminal, these two terms. Understand? I said authentication and authorization. Authentication is simply trying to identify a user. Understand? So when a user tries to log in, that is authentication. So authorization is simply giving users access to some particular views. Understand? It's simply giving users permission or access. To some pages or to some views, you understand. And Django comes with a default, comes with a module called the Alt module for building authentication in Django. You understand? Django has made things easier for us. So you need to learn about authentication. You need to learn about authentication and authorization. It is really, really important in the Django framework. You understand? So after you might have learned about the Django Alt module, you can then go into knowing more about the session authentication and the token authentication these two are also really important in the start as well developer must know what this stuff are and when to use them and also how to use them okay before i before i proceed to the next concept i advise you to watch this video till the end because towards the end i have some bonus concepts for you to learn and understand in django understand so number three is static and media files configuration i know you know all static files as static files are the are, is that folder that helps to hold your images your css and javascript you understand you, you understand your images these images are kind of they are static images you understand so the media files helps to hold files image files that have been uploaded by the user you understand so you know these two stuff i talked about static and media configuration is quite challenging because in your because in your local environment the way you set it up is quite different from how you set it up in the production environment instead this is quite challenging so you need to learn so you need to master how to configure static static and media files in django both in the local the, both in the local environment and also in the production environment this is gonna this, this is gonna be really really it's gonna be a bonus it's gonna be an advantage onto your side understand because most people i see they struggle with configuring static files and also the media files understand most time when they push your project online the styles does not apply in so you need to know how to configure the static files and media files it's gonna be really really important for your group to learn this stuff very very well it's going to be really helpful in the start so the next step is deployment in the stand so deploying a django application is important in the stand so after you might have built your application you need to deploy it because it can't sleep in your computer you need to get it up there online so 
right now we have various platforms that helps to deploy your Django, your, your Django web application. So what is important in deployment is you need to understand the fundamental of how a Django server runs in production instance so after you've deployed it's not it's, it's not enough to, it's not about it's not about you knowing how to deploy you also need to understand how django runs in production because you might be asked some you, you might be you might face some kind of challenges or some or some kinds of errors it's, if you don't understand what is going on you might struggle to fix those errors you understand so that's it for deployment okay number five is this so you need to know how to integrate Django with third-party APIs, you understand? So APIs like APIs from Twitter, from YouTube, from Stripe, you understand? So knowing how to do this is really, really important because most companies you see out there, most companies are running on other companies' API, you understand? So you knowing how to deploy, you knowing how to integrate a third-party API with Django, is is a, is a plus to your skill in stand so if you know this if you know if you know how to do this very very well you're going to be super you're going to be really really precious in the hands of employers out there so go out there look for tutorials that integrate third parties api in django recently free code camp made a tutorial on that in, whereby they have to implement they have to integrate google's api with Django, in you can check it out on Free Code Camp. You understand? You're gonna learn. You're gonna learn a lot from that tutorial. I promise you. So knowing how to knowing how to integrate third parties API with Django is awesome. Really, really awesome. So if you're getting value from this video, why not subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. You understand? So and I'll, and I also love to hear your thoughts about the video. I also love to hear what you think about this video. You understand? So do that right now okay right now we have treated with we've, we've, i've treated i've covered five concepts so remaining three so i added one extra making it nine it's going to be nine in total so watch this video till the end so you can get the raw information it's going to be really really important to your growth in getting a job in Django this year 2022 so you can check me out on peep on on patreon you can support your boy support the channel on patreon the link is down below in the description in, in the description in the stand so check me out on, on patreon the link is down below so the next item number six item is knowing a front-end framework in the stand out there we have three popular front-end frameworks on javascript from we have three popular front-end frameworks not from javascript like that but the three of them are react view and angular in the stand so you need to pick one for me, I recommend either React or Ang I, I recommend either React or Vue.js. So pick one of them and learn this time because if you know how to use a front-end framework and Django, that makes you a full-stack developer. You understand? So pick one of the frameworks and learn. Learn them is gonna be really, really helpful. It's gonna be a, it's it's not it's not compulsory. It's not compulsory you know a front-end framework. No. But it's gonna give you the special advantage over the crowd. It's gonna make you stand out from the crowd if you know a front end framework. You understand? So you can try and learn it. You understand? Because, by mind you, it is not compulsory. But as I said, it's gonna make you stand out from the crowd. You knowing a front end framework. And I recommend either React.js or Vue.js because these two frameworks are the most popular right now in the industry okay the next item on my list is building restful apis in django and i found out that most people don't know how to build restful apis with django instance so yes that yes i'm not surprised because i'm not surprised about that but if you're not if you're not to build restful apis is, is a plus to your skill in instance so try and learn it is quite common and django has made things quite easy by giving us a django rest framework you understand so try and learn it it's gonna really it's gonna be really really helpful because most django projects are most django projects you see out there are being converted to a rest api project you understand it okay so please do well to know how to build restful apis with django is quite it's really important and it's quite common you find you find a lot of tutorials online on youtube for free on how to build restful apis with django so do well to learn it's gonna be a plus to your skill you understand 
okay the eighth item i have the eighth concepts i have for you is dockerizing django how to dockerize a django application understand so you might be wondering what is docker so i'm going to simply throw a bit a little light on what docker is instance so docker is mainly used for creating consistent environments between team members instance so when you're working with a large team most times it's good you dockerize your your application in django your you dockerize the application you are building this time because it's really really important because docker helps to create consistent environments between you and the team members you understand so for docker you just you just need to know the basics of docker you are good with that understand you just need to learn the basics of docker not you don't, you don't need to be an expert with docker the basic is just fine for you you understand so with the basics you can flow along you can do you can dockerize your project and flow with the team you understand so that is it for docker and the ninth item the last but not the least i have for you this one is for guys who want to get at who want to become experts in django this one is for those guys who want to like master django for good in stand so this is what i call task queuing using celery in stand so this is this, this, this is this is quite complex in stand task queuing with celery is quite complex it's used for asynch it's used for asynchronous activity on your web application and most projects don't need in synchronous stuff in the stand but for it to stand out stand out well it's not really important this is really complex tax queuing in celery is quite complex in the stand so if you want to like become an expert you need to know how to do this tax queuing with celery it's quite good it's quite important but not really compulsory you understand so you can try you, you can learn that and this stuff is is kind of a course it's kind of something you need to specialize in it's time to you need to specialize in this task queuing with salary because it's kind of it's quite complex you understand it's quite complex and it needs your time you understand so that's it for this video hope you've gained some value so if you did so subscribe to my channel like and share this video and drop me some comments i love to hear what you think about this video you understand so that's it now so go out there improve yourself improve your jungle skill you understand i'm giving you some concepts you need to learn and understand better you need to master so pick up those eight stuff those eight concepts try and work on yourself before this year runs out and i promise you if you are you if i promise you work on yourself and apply for jobs you should get one you understand so that is it now so thank you for watching we'll see in the next project we'll see in the next video so stay blessed and bye bye